everyone and welcome to update 10 for prehistoric kingdom where we've got the aurora borealis in the sky and down below our little stone age park now it is a a little bit laggy right now but i have got as many things as i want to fit in here so all the species and i know it's the night time so i might actually just uh get get that in the day so that we can see the animals properly and we'll yeah, so here we go. So we got a big Stone Age update happening. Oh, I might... I feel like I should close the park to guess so that we're not lagging as much because I know guests have a significant impact. Um, how do you close... I don't know how you close the park. It's been a while um, since I've played this. Uh, okay, that's park notification, so that would definitely not be it. But let's see if we can... Play normally. Huh. Guess we'll see. Now I, I'm sorry about the lag, guys. But um, yeah. So oh man, I am not in. Okay, hang on. We might be able to settings. Um. Okay. No. No point. Um. Oh, there we go. That's better. Okay. So. Let's have a look at our stuff. So this is a little decorative place where the guests are, for some reason, walking through fire. So we've got some n nice benches here with some animal hides. I think this is some kind of bucket, I think it's supposed to be, or a barrel. Ooh, a stone axe. That's cool. Uh, yeah, we've got also got a bit of pottery and a big old mammoth statue. I don't know if this is one that's already existing in the game, but... It looks cool nonetheless, and this is a, like a little shop shop shell. Here we go um, with some thatch roofs and logs as uh, support. And yeah, I know I know you all are here for the animals, so let's get started. So I have some mammoths living with our new Elasmotherium, a giant rhino from Russia during the Pleistocene. Yep, the late Pleistocene during the last ice age. Dubbed the Siberian Unicorn due to its large horn. However, it isn't often seen with a large horn nowadays in paleo media. Much more this much shorter horn, as paleontologists have shrunk it down to. But at least you have an option between the, the large horn of the more famous and more notable depictions of Elasmotherium. It's, it's good to have options. Oh my goodness, wow. I did not realize it was that big. Wow. Is that Okay, that's our male, um, Gyna, next to our little female. But whoa. Elasmotherium's a beast. Yeah, I thought I'd just put him in with the mammoths because I think that would just be so fun to have um, just this big Ice Age habitat. Look at them just hanging out. They're so nice. And we got this gravel and a bit of a prairie going on. I do love how this looks. Just this dark soil with all this yellow dry grass. We've also got a bit of Stonehenge here. And a Neanderthal hut with animal hides draping the roofs. And some mammoth tusks and various other bones decorating the entrance. We also do have... A much larger version of Stonehenge here. Looking very cool. And so that's the Elasmotherium. We also have an alternate species for it, Sinotherium, which is a smaller relative from Asia. Oh, well, China, I believe, actually. Yeah, Sino. Um, that's usually referred to Sinoceratops, Sinoceratops, both of which I believe are from China. I think it means, like, Sinoceratops would mean Chinese horned face. And in the case of Sinotherium, I think it would be the Chinese beast or something. I'm just trying to think about what it could be. Oh, wow, look at that. Got a bit of energy in you, don't you? Look at you. Absolutely beautiful. I wonder if um, Nigel has anything to say. Okay, not for this guy, it seems. What about Elasmotherium? Okay, nope. <laughs> So, yeah, so that's Sinotherium and Elasmotherium. Ooh, what have we got here going on here? Okay, I thought it was a bit of an interaction there. Oh, look at them. 
just having a good time with. I love watching the animals in Prehistoric Kingdom just do their thing. It's very, very fun to watch. But these are not the only animals that we received. No, no, no. We have some Panthera Spelia and Panthera Aatrox in here. And I also discovered this. So this is like a mesh overhead tunnel that I found when I was looking at the habitat items. I don't know if this is from this update, but it very well could be considering this is often used for big cats in zoos. And it's being used here, of course, for a bit of a trackway between lion habitats. So here we go, here's Amber, our Panthera Spelia, aka the Eurasian Cave Lion, in this case being a lioness, looking absolutely beautiful. Um, can we cycle through? Oh, that's not how you cycle through, damn it. Um, let's see if we can find one of the big boys. Martin. Oh, you have a very short mane. Oh, they've got mane variation. Oh, that's cool, I like that. Um... I don't know if I've got an individual with a bigger mane, but I guess we could have a look. Oh, hello. Anadar. Yeah, your mane's a bit longer. Unless that's just how it looks. It might be how it looks. But, oh, listen to that. They do the chuffing that modern lions do. Which I think, oh, there we go. Oh, that's so cool. I love having like a prehistoric lion like creature in this game. I feel like lions are just that iconic and regal that they just have such a cool history and I love these guys. These guys are a fantastic addition. I love the detail in them too. Don't want to throw some shade towards Planet Zoo's lion, but damn these guys look fantastic. And I think this is the other skin. Um here we are with Amelia. So this is our other skin for the cat Eurasian cave line here with a bit more of a um, l light spotting down around the belly aren't you gorgeous but we also have Panthera Aatrox the American cave lion which I think is even a bit bigger than um, the Eurasian because I've placed one of these guys next to one and they look significantly larger but look at that. Look at that beautiful striping mixed with spotting. Going for a dig around, mate. So I think your name is Keem. Hello, Keem. Looking beautiful. And like, if you saw the trailer, um, you would you would have seen one of the leucistic, leucistic versions. Unfortunately, I didn't get a leucistic variant, but this one's somewhat more pale. Um, in appearance. Well, I could not tell you. But look at these guys. I love how these guys look. They're so well muscled too. Oh, look at them going for a little chop. Yeah. But imagine if Plant Zoo's lions look like this. <laughs> I don't want to throw shade against it, but it's hard not to admit. And when we get the ontogeny system, we could have some gorgeous little cubs in here. But, yeah, that's pretty much all that I can... So here, there are a lot more items though, so if I go into here, if we, yep, we're still filtered on Stone Age, so we got a little bit of scenery, so garden, yeah, so in garden we got a couple of mosses, so if we just go in here, we got some moss of some various kinds, that got a much larger version there, and some various fungi, just to, to create some aspects of a forest, oh, there we go. Uh, what else we got? We've also got those prefabs. We've got a few campsite sort of scenery. We've got some netting, some... Is this fish rack? Yeah, we've got a fish rack with some perch and a pike. And is that some kind of arctic char or something? I don't know. I recognize the pike though and the perch. And we've got our little campfire, which does actually work. At least I think it does. There was another one that was working, but um, that one clearly isn't. We've also got a little bit of pottery here. So sort of showcasing early arts and crafts. A little bit of a canoe. And I think this is a fish trap, yes. We've also got a little obsidian knife and a hatchet. Looking really cool. Some structural elements here. Oh, what's this? Oh, these are some of the cave paintings. Ah, yes. 
So we've got some Parasaurotherium here. We've got some Megalosaurus, hopefully coming soon to the game. Would have been a very well fit into this update. So we've got some Pachyrhinosaurus. Got some Triceratops. Um, Mammoths. Various footprints. I think these are some Smilodons. <laughs> oh, bless me. Sorry about that, guys. Um, Lambiosaurus. Got some... I want to say these are Argentinosaurus. I, I believe they are. Got a big Smilodon head. Um, a Coelodonta. And a Mammoth. Looking beautiful. Uh, we've also got some... Some archways. Oh, wow, that's huge. That's much thinner. And that's made of a different kind of tree. And we've got all sorts here. We've got some, some hide pieces. Hide racks. And what's this? Is this a... Oh, whoa! A hide pillar. <laughs> also got some reg little, little fences here. You could create a full-on village here. We also got some doorways. Of course, don't stand up on the ground. But um, and then we go like to the regular pieces and such. We don't have any lighting, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, we do get a good lot of different pieces in here. Now, oh, we also have some cave items. So you have some stalagmites and stalactites. It could create a very realistic cave system here. So if like I grab this, flip this around. Oop, come on, flip around. And, oop, damn it. <laughs> and we bring this up. Yeah, you can, you can see, so, you can sort of see what I'm getting at. Like, you have the stalactites on the roof and the stalagmites on the ground. Because that's how it is in a real life cave system. Looking gorgeous. Would love to create a cave. And you got also these. These columns that... It, it's sort of like what happens when a stalactite meets a stalagmite. It just forms a large column. Got some bigger ones too. We've also got these basaltic rocks, which is something I've wanted to see add to Planet Zoo, as I think these are just some really cool rock formations. But you can create a really interesting floor. So, like, if we put it in front of this elasmotherium here. Yeah, look at that. Look at the texture that it creates. Like, you have the walls too. Yeah, that'd be really cool for you to walk through, wouldn't it? You are beautiful. Like, Elasmotherium is just bringing us one step closer. Oh, that's... Uh, um, oh, right, this is supposed to be the cinematic camera. Oh, but look at that. That is beautiful. Look at that. That is... Yeah, that's something else. <laughs> yeah, cinematic camera is one of the best things that's been added to this game. I love how you can create... You can pretty much create a full-on documentary. You got some bit of patching at, at, at the back, Mr. Mammoth. You are Mr. Yep, you are Max. Yeah. But I think I if I were to pick one animal out of the two main species that we have, um, the Elasmotherium and the Cave Lion, I, I love the Elasmotherium, but I think I have to go with the Cave Lion. Cave Lion is just so well made. It's so dynamic too. I just love how... Oh, listen to that. It's beautiful. Oh, I don't know which to pick. I I want to go with the cave line, but I love Elasmotherium, especially these older depictions. These older depictions. There's... I press my nostalgia button because I we, we have that clo much closer to creating a proper prehistoric park. We just need Terror Bird... Um, the Borelosaurus, I think it was called in the show, the large sauropod, and of course Dinosuchus as well, and Ornithomimus. But um, yeah, if you you are excited for update ten, this is, this is it. It looks beautiful, a brand new map, some new atmospheric conditions, a Stone Age set of items, some brand new Pleistocene animals, and I think this is part of the update. I want to say it is, but this is very handy. But um, let me know what your favourite part of this update is. And if you would like to see more Prehistoric Kingdom, do let me know. But as for now, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.